Meredith and it's time to do our third playthrough of my TBR game Quest of the Missing Soul. If you are watching this for the first time, I will link the first playthrough that I did of this game in case you want to know all the rules. There is also a story that goes along with this. I made a plot, I made characters, and I will be over several months progressing through the story to try and complete the quest that I'm on. And so I am going around collecting items like this. So this is a rocking horse. I have to complete that prompt. When it is a yellow item card, I have to read the book I choose in the TBR game, but all of the other prompts throughout the game, I don't have to read the book I choose. I can read anything as long as I fit the prompt. The blue squares are the prompts, so I land on that and I get a prompt and I have to read a book for it. The brown are play effects or prompt card effects and there's little icons throughout but I'll just go through what those are if I land on one. I'm also thinking of including something on the blank squares. I haven't been able to come up with anything yet because I've been incredibly busy moving house but I will get to that eventually but yeah I've just been brainstorming what I'm going to do with that just to make the game a little bit harder. That's what she said. Hey. Oh also last game I completely forgot that I landed on the crow because it's really hard to see it. I don't know if you can see it there. But the crow means that I lose one of the item cards I got previously. So I asked you guys to vote on which one you thought I should lose. Most people said ladder, which is a tall book. So I have to go back and get the ladder again. I believe the ladder was here. So I now have to get that and this item card. So we'll just see how long it takes me to get ladder. I might attempt that one again. All right. Oh, I don't have a dice. Hang on. Alrighty, let's start our third round of the TBR game. Hopefully we have a nice easy round, nice storyline, easy quest. So I'm going to attempt to get back to the ladder and we'll see how we go from there. Oh my god, every time I've done this I've started with a two. That is crazy. <laughs> okay, so let's see what our first prompt is. It is Unicorn. Read a standalone. Ooh, so the first thing we did on our quest was come across a unicorn. Where's my phone? I'm gonna need that. <laughs> so the first prompt was unicorn, read a standalone. And for this one, I am going to read The Luminous Dead. I am wanting to do a vlog where a chicken, I'm a chicken, reads horror and thrillers. So I asked um, on my Instagram and Twitter for some recommendations of books that are not super scary and don't include things that really terrify me and this was a recommendation that I got from Bran. Bran's channel is linked down below they're amazing they're definitely one of my favorite booktubers at the moment so go go show their channel some love they recommended the loom instead and I was like yeah actually that seems like something I could enjoy and not be terrified of it's more like creepy claustrophobic vibes so yeah I'm gonna read the loom instead and that's what I'm picking for the unicorn all right let's go one blank one two very short small numbers <laughs> okay what will our second prompt be oh so we find an ancient artifact read a historical romance easy very easily done <laughs> then i got find an artifact read a historical romance i'm gonna pick a beverly jenkins book for this because i hadn't read one of her books for at all this year and then I read one recently and I became addicted again. I love her books so I think I'm gonna read Josephine and the Soldier because I recently read her other book in this like YA historical romance series so she wrote two for this series and I read the first one last month so I think I'm going to read Josephine and the Soldier. That's what I'm gonna read for that prompt. Alrighty so we came across a unicorn then we came across an ancient artifact so let's see what we're gonna do next. So obviously I've been finding some treasures. Ooh, nice. Two, three, four, five, six. Blink. Alrighty, a brown. Our first brown is Solo Mission. The next book must be indie published. Ooh, love it. Alrighty, let's go. Three, one, two, three. All right. So what I pick for this next blue prompt must be indie published. Oh god, here comes Tilly. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, but that's fine. You can you can join in the game. <laughs> so our next prompt is gonna be Tilly's very excited. 
Survive a storm. Use color wheel. Ooh. And it has to be indie published. So I will put those two prompts together. And Tilly has knocked over the sorceress. Good job, Tilly. That's who we're trying to save. And you've just knocked her over. Maybe every time Tilly comes on the board, I have to use like a punishment or something. So I'm now going to do the color wheel for Survivor Storm and Solo Mission. So I've got this one up, which always makes me laugh because white is actually the color purple. Always makes me laugh. I said that, but I'm not actually laughing. <laughs> All right, let's spin it and see what color we get. Mm. red so it has to be a red indie published book okay that took me like five minutes <laughs> i think i'm gonna go with the risk which is the first book in the mind f series which is about a serial killer it's a serial killer romance so it's about a like detective who's trying to track down this serial killer which is this chick but she's like killing criminals so i'll take a potato chip <laughs> and eat it I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. Uh, I've always wanted to try it and there's lots of red on it. I'll be able to read that for my reading horror thriller. I, I'm assuming this isn't really scary and it's probably not really gonna count, but I'm gonna put it there anyway. It fits the like October vibes. Five, okay. We land on it, what did we get? Oh yeah, obviously a lot of dumb shit. <laughs> so yes, I need to read a tall book. And again, I have to read what I pick Tilly, stop knocking over the sorceress, please. Have some respect. <laughs> so yeah, I do have to read whenever I pick this TBR game. I have to read it for that one. Oh my god. Tilly! Oh. And then of course our last prompt is again the ladder. Attempting for the second time, I need to read a tall book. So, this is always stressful because I have to read whatever I pick. I can't, I can't change my mind so i'm thinking i'm thinking of some but i'm terrified because it's super long and it's a commitment let me see if there's an audiobook to read along to <sighs> let me see yes there is okay should i do this guys i will probably do a worth the hype vlog on this so should i do it because like i have to read it if i pick this otherwise everything this round redundant so should i pick it it's on my list of 22 books to read in 2022 i'm really wanting to read it they've recently had a cover change um so if i do like this i might try and buy the rest of the series in these covers so they match so i don't just have this one in a different edition but they're probably already out of print but anyway so i'm excited i've heard really good things but i know that it's a little bit taboo so a lot of people don't like it but i can handle some taboo it depends what the taboo is and how intense I'm gonna pick this. Get on with it! I'm so excited. All right, it's happening. It's happening. Finally. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you're not going up there. Come down. She wants to jump on top of my bookshelves where I've got cups that will break. Come on. Come down. Good gear. Good gear. Let me know what you thought of our journey this time. It was kind of felt a little bit procrastinating again. You know, we found some cool shit we survived a storm it feels like maybe that was preoccupying a lot of our time like maybe during the storm we were just like pottering around finding cool things went on a bit of a solo mission and then we found the ladder again so but yeah that is gonna do it thank you so much for being here i really hope that you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you in another video very soon but until then bye i always say bye so weird i don't even know how to do it like a normal person <laughs> what even is normal who knows get on with it